Hello everyone, I am Shitanshu from Dream Abroad and today in this video we'll discuss if getting the Canadian PR in 2021 actually worth it or not. After COVID, times have changed a lot so it will be very interesting to discuss this from different aspects of life like you living away from your friends and family, what about the future of your children, what about the health and safety, we'll also talk about different other aspects like ease of life and quality of life and various other aspects as well. So what should you expect from this video? I don't say that by the end of this video I'll give you an answer in yes or no that yes it is totally worth it or no it's not worth it. I will leave the decision to you. I'll discuss various points because each point may have different weightage for different people. So it would ultimately be on you to decide will it actually be worth it or not. I'll share my personal views and I'll leave it to you to decide if it is actually worth to get the Canadian PR in 2021 or not. Okay, it was a sunny day today. I thought it would be great to actually shoot the video outside, but it's really windy and it is still cold. So I think I should go back home and shoot the video and wait for a couple more weeks to actually shoot these videos outside. So let's go back home and then we'll do the talking. Whew. It's a lot better inside. Okay, coming straight to the point. Many of you who might be working for some MNCs, getting really good salaries or maybe doing your own business, which is doing really well, and you're well settled in your home country, but you still want to move to Canada. So all the efforts, all the money, all the time that you're going to put in starting your life right from scratch here in Canada, is it actually worth it in 2021? Well, okay, just a quick disclaimer. This video is neither to motivate you to immigrate to Canada, nor to demotivate you to not to immigrate to Canada. Basically, I'm just trying to tell you a few points based on which you can actually make your own judgment. And all the points that I'll discuss in this video are basically from the personal experiences of my friends, family, known ones and myself as well. So starting with the first point, which is living away from your family, friends, relatives and loved ones. So this point is for those for whom family is first. Okay, now this pandemic has changed everything. Earlier, if something used to happen, we used to think that, okay, I would be there in my home country just for reference because my home country is India, so I'm considering India here. I would say that, okay, I would be there in 13, 14 hours. That's the uh, time a direct flight actually takes. But this pandemic has changed it. It's not possible for me to travel to India so easily now. The last time I met my parents was in March 2019, exactly two years ago. We booked the tickets uh, for April 2020, but you know what happened. But I'm in a much better situation and I cannot complain because I know someone whose brother actually passed away and he could not reach in time to attend his funeral. I also know a friend whose kid is now one year old and hasn't seen any family member apart from his parents. And I think that person who could not attend his brother's funeral and was not with his family during the tough times or that pregnant woman who could not get the support of his family before or after the birth of her child. Do you think that do they actually care about PR or citizenship? All they need is their family. So yes, this point is for all of those people who give their family the utmost importance. Okay, I know that you're gonna say that these are extraordinary conditions and we've never seen situations like these before and this pandemic is going to get over soon, maybe by the end of this year or maybe next year sometime because we are all getting vaccinated sometime or the other. But what I feel is that this pandemic has given us a new perspective to view things differently. Earlier, we were used to travel to you know, our home country so frequently, so easily, but now it is not possible anymore. You don't know how long is this thing going to last or if we are going to see any other pandemic in the future or what's going to be the situation in the future. So I would say that if your family is living with you, or maybe you have your parents or other loved ones who can live with you in Canada, 
then it is totally fine it is totally worth it but if you have some people who cannot live with you permanently you now with parents it gets difficult that they cannot live with you permanently at times maybe your grandparents cannot come to live with you it might be a lot difficult for you because conditions are not all the same but again this is my personal view i would request anyone who is watching this video and who is living in canada and facing these kind of concerns i would request you to please put your view down in the comment section below so that others can also benefit from it okay before we proceed any further i want to give a huge shout out to wondershare uni converter for sponsoring this video which is actually a one stop solution for all your audio and video requirements it converts videos to more than 1000 formats at 30x faster speed without quality loss you can also convert the audio to different formats one very useful feature is that you can use this as a downloader as well so if you're going out where there are bad signals you can download the videos beforehand this tool is so smart it also has some useful video editing features and even screen recorder which i use almost all the time so i would definitely recommend trying wondershare uni converter the link to download the tool is given in the description box below you can check it out okay now talking about the second point the quality and ease of life of course canada offers you a great quality of life this is a reason why most of the people actually immigrate to canada when you ask people about it they say that we moved here for a better quality of life than our home country of course it's a developed nation so you would never find those problems of power cuts or um, you know the roads are not proper infrastructure is top notch you will never find those problems here in canada okay now talking about the ease of life let's say you have some work in a bank or in a government office you are sure that your things will get done and your work would be completed after the necessary formalities unlike let's say any indian government office where you have to go rounds to get the things done or maybe they expecting that you would bribe them to get the things done so that is certainly not going to happen here in canada but apart from that talking about the regular day to day activities i often say about it and people criticize me about it that life in india is much more easier when you talk about the day to day chores because when you are here we cannot afford servants people often complain that they don't have time because they have to do all the daily chores by themselves washing dishes uh, washing their clothes cleaning their homes uh, you know all of those things obviously you know that you know we have to do on by our own but while you are in your home country let's say india you have that leverage you have that facility that you can actually get uh, made to work for you i know now there are differences but yes it is a fact that we love that comfort i'm sure you would remember those times from one year ago when we were in a lockdown and we had to do all those things by ourselves it was so difficult isn't it so that difficulty you'd face every day here in canada so i would say that in that sense it is quite difficult to live here in canada whether you have a permanent residency or a student visa or you have the canadian citizenship if you earn really 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 good money then yes you can afford people who can come and cook for you or maybe you can actually uh, come to your house maybe weekly not at all daily but at least weekly to clean your house but apart from that it would be slightly difficult right talking about the next point which is our health and safety okay let me talk about the safety part first and then we'll talk about the health part as well now staying in canada you will feel a lot safer i mean to say that in midnight even if you are actually going through a deserted place you won't feel that insecurity you will still feel safe because you know that you know if you're in any trouble you can just call 911 and uh, uh, you know the security services would be there pretty soon also for women it is a lot safer you can work for different kind of jobs like you can work in factories you can work in food outlets you can work as a uber driver as a truck driver or a food delivery uh, person i'm telling you about these jobs because generally you won't find women actually working for these jobs in india because it is a lot safer here you would not feel that kind of discomfort or you won't feel 
unsafe to go out at midnight so those all things are fantabulous so you know it is totally worth it if you are here on whichever visa if you are in pr if you are citizenship or study visa or work visa now coming over to the health services as you might know that um, canada does have provincial health plans so which means that if you are a permanent resident or a citizen then you do have your health services totally free of cost so you can actually go to a doctor get your tests done you can get hospitalized and come out of it without even paying a single penny so that is actually great may god forbid if you actually suffer through a heart attack and uh, someone calls 911 you know ambulance paramedics would be here in few minutes only and you would be given the emergency care as well now talking about the emergency care i remember a very specific incident when one of my friend a couple of years ago actually had this uh, pain of uh, kidney stone so some of you might know who has been through that pain that it is a very acute pain so the first time when he actually experienced that pain we were not sure that what has happened so we took him to the hospital and would you believe that he had to wait 3 hours outside the emergency ward he was just given a painkiller by the nurse and he was just lying there in pain for 3 hours outside the emergency ward and then after he was taken inside he was given a bed 3 more hours before a doctor could actually attend him and get his tests done okay so it was all free but the thing is that that wait was really horrible for us who were trying to take care of him and of course for the patient who was actually screaming in pain at times but let's say if you are in india and you face such a problem or such an illness you can immediately go to a doctor and you will be provided emergency care probably in 5 to 6 hours you would be back in your home Uh, after all the tests on all the medications as well yes you would have to pay maybe a hefty amount of money for that but you would get that emergency care very easily so because it is free not just for you but for everyone so you'll always find lines in uh, the clinics in hospitals and in labs as well so the pro is that medical services are top notch and it is free but the con is that if you're in a situation is like my friend was you'll feel that i need the medical services urgently instead of waiting it would be better if i was in india or back home any other country and i would get it pretty soon instead of the long queues okay this brings me to the last point which is education and the future of your children after securing a permanent residency many of us move to canada while we are about to get married we are already married sometimes we have kids So for all of those people we are very concerned about the future of our children. So no doubts about it Canadian education system is really great. You would be glad to know that your kids can actually go to public schools and you don't have to pay any fee. So we know that in order to get admissions in good primary schools we have to give donations, we have to go through the interview process. It's very difficult nowadays. but thankfully here you don't have to face all those troubles and it's also free of cost so your kid will actually get great education and that too free of cost so which is really great and also as the kid grows older the career opportunities are massive they can go for film making they can go for photography they can go for martial arts they can go for any sports they can go for dentist engineer doctor whatever they actually want to be there's no stopping and there are ample of opportunities for that you'll get great education you'll also get great training wherever your kid actually finds interest so from that perspective canada is actually great because your kid actually grows out to become a great professional because all those education those trainings can be provided while kids are actually in school or in college so that is really great Okay apart from that there's one little concern I'm not sure because that's my personal thought if I should share that on camera or not but because you are my YouTube family I want to talk about it so let's just talk about it in just next one minute many times we have seen that um, parents are actually scared to shout at their kids 
or hit the kids you know of course hitting is not right but even when let's say your kid is coming late from a party or something or doing something which you don't like and you shout at your kids they tend to threaten you at times that they will call 911 and of course you certainly don't want police to enter your household just because your kid does not like that you're shouting at them or you're hitting them or whatever i don't have kids but i still have that indian culture within me where we are taught to treat our parents elders and loved ones with a lot of respect so if a kid actually you know turns over to his parent threatening that they would call 911 if they shout at them or something like that i personally don't like it so but that's again my personal thought you might not want to give uh, much weightage to this point so i would say that overall for kids for your children for the future canada is a great place okay guys this is it those were all the points that i wanted to discuss today as i told you towards the end of this video i will not tell you that okay canada pr is totally worth it or no canada pr isn't worth it i will leave that decision to you if you actually feel that it is worth it you should definitely go for it i make videos to help you guys to immigrate to canada but also if you feel otherwise i hope that you would not feel sad that you could not immigrate to canada you have a good life there in your home country as well thanks a lot for watching this video